here we are, and here's the rain. Oops. We're absolutely mad. There, that's a good look, that. Ready. It's a lot harder than I thought. Oh my god, it's really hard. That is the biggest Epcot like snack I've ever me, seen. Welcome to New Day. We are heading to Animal Kingdom. We've had one of those days again. It's all Vicky and Emma's fault, but In we're loving it. Mile, where we uh, entry got up, five minutes notice, eight o'clock, I was just editing and backing up and stuff like that, and they were like, we're in the, the, the ride queue for Flight of Passage, it's only 45 minutes. Well, it was 55 when they went in, and yeah. now it's 45. So we're like, oh, we weren't actually gonna do anything. We we're gonna join them in Epcot later on today. And maybe stay for the fireworks because we've not done them yet. Um, but we've got four more again. We're like, ah, oh, ah. Oh. So, uh, so we're on his way. So we're on his way. Um, it is 944 um, and as Nick said, the flight of passage um, time went down to 45 minutes. Ooh. Those grey clouds do not look good in front. Um, um, it is going to be a very quiet week because you can always tell that if you've got an annual pass, they always offer bonus reservations for mm -hmm. parks that have kind of run out so they know it's going to be quiet and for the whole of this week there's like little orange stars which means you can always tell it's going to be quiet. It was like that in um, after the 18th of April when we came last time. They yeah. were offering it because you just knew that it was going to be quiet. They are black clouds, aren't they? Look at those black clouds. Oh my goodness. Got the ponchos, got the um, umbrella. Looks like we may need them. The last time, that, well not the last time, but the first, the first time, which, do you remember when we did the video of um, Flight of Passage when we rope dropped? We got off that ride and we got absolutely saturated. Can you remember? I uh, think so. It looks did like... we have ponchos then? I don't I think, think we did. I did think we? we had. I can't remember. Can't remember. But I we went remember. on Nemo just to dry out. It was sopping wet. I remember it well. So uh, come and join us for a uh, another um, Disney day. It's I Vicky and Emma's it. final it's, full day. Yeah, they fly home tomorrow, unfortunately. Um, so uh, well, we are going to miss those guys. Um, we didn't plan coming into this holiday, we didn't plan to spend as much time with them as we have done. We knew they were going to be we here. We knew they were going to be here and we were going to um, meet up with them, but we just loved spending days with, together. Um, and they've said the same, they've loved spending days together with us and we've kind of egged each other on, like, come on, let's go and do this ride now, let's go and do that ride. Yeah. And Emma's like... I'm not on, doing Magic Kingdom tomorrow. Emma went on... Why? Why are they going to Magic Kingdom? Yeah, they're doing a full day Magic Kingdom before they go for their flight. Well... Could do, I suppose. We haven't even been on Mine Train yet. Well, that's true. We'd have to be get mega early though if you want to get on that. Otherwise, the queues will be too big. Oh, that's that is dedication, isn't it? They've got a full day before they fly at ten or something at night, and they're doing it all in Magic Kingdom. We used to do stuff like that back did, in the so, day. Uh, maybe, maybe Magic Kingdom tomorrow. Here we are, and here's the rain. Lovely. Um, just looking on the app, and it is only. Oops, could you go to a bump? Thirty-five minutes for flight of passage and 50 minutes for Navi River journey. You never know whether, flight, whether the rain drives people on rides or drives people off rides and out of the park. Well, we'll see because it sure is raining. We're mad. Completely closed. We're absolutely mad. Well, it won't rain when we set off. Drivers no, coming up. You can see it like two minutes after setting off. I'm drenched, my glasses are drenched. The ponchos, Lee's ponchos popping open. Wind's the first one. <laughs> the hood's blown off, my hair's wet. But we're loving it still. Well, the tram is moving. And supervise your children. I don't think I've been to Disney and had this much rain ever before. It's nice, I don't mind it. It's not cold though, that's the Oh fact. no, it's not cold. Got the umbrella up, got the ponchos on, and uh, ugh. I think I might, I might retract that statement. <laughs> Just walked through a massive puddle. Security was pandemonium. <laughs> or Pandora, should I say. It was, um, it was crazy. Everybody had umbrellas up, and of course it set all the scanners off, beep, beep, beep. So Lee had his umbrella up, beep, beep, beep. Anyway, he had to go through and he got, he got one of the jobs where that literally took everything, everything out of his bag, everything. down to the earplugs. It took us about 15 to 20 minutes to get in. If you're wondering why I've got an umbrella as well as a poncho, just so the camera doesn't get soaking wet. Well, I'm putting my sunglasses on, it might make the sun come out. <sighs> We're heading around to Pandora. It's uh, got up to 40 minutes now. Look at all the ponchos. I'm 35. Now. It's just a, a sea of white ponchos. There we go. So, Vicky and Emma are in Tusker House having breakfast. We're contemplating getting Genie Plus. I would never normally consider buying a single part Genie Plus, 
in Animal Kingdom because, quite simply, there is no rides. There's only like... Oh, nice, but... Well, you can't do Avatar because it's Lightning Lane only. Yeah. Well, purchase per ride. Um, Expedition, I never want to go on that again in my life. Dinosaur, Dinosaur won't go on for his back. <laughs> so it's only, it's only Kilimanjaro Safari. Well, yeah, you're the only one with an umbrella up. So we're heading round there. Hopefully we can get on and off it before Vicky and Emma have done their uh, Tusker. We're knackered now from trying to get in as fast as possible. And then hopefully we'll do Navi, although it's a 50 A lot wait. of these people are going this way. It's not a 50 minute wait, it's now a 75 minute wait. 35 minutes for a flight of passage, you can't moan at that. I wish it were always 35 minutes. Look at the waterfall. My feet are like soppy tea bags. It's too cold in here now. My feet though, are you? what's your feet like? They were wet and cold. Yeah. Mine are so bad. Sketches obviously aren't very waterproof. Just reminds me of chemistry at school this with some of the uh, the vials and test tubes and things. Can you figure out how that plastic, that glass screen works there? Yeah, so I think it's a projector from below. You're amazing, aren't you? Oh, look at the iron filings bobbling around in the um, goo. So I reckon that on the back will be a magnet behind and it's dragging iron filings around that plate. Did you figure that one out, Lee? Um, it's, a, it's an alien that's crawling around. Oh yeah, that must be what it is. It's actually the um, activity slot. I don't tell you what it is. <laughs> Looks just like a little creature, doesn't it? Yeah. Trying to get out. Yeah. I'm sure it used to twitch, like on the film. It's a big, it's a big um, rubber skin. Yeah. I'm sure it used to twitch. It is amazing how they've managed to do that. I wonder if it's like, I wonder if it's the entire tank that's actually in one. Actually, the bubbles are coming between its legs, so it must be. It is amazing that it doesn't sort of colour itself or go green or anything. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Massive. Oh yeah, it's about seven, eight foot long. So I said it before, if you um, if you get to the front and they tell you that you're on one of the lower chambers, which has, is actually a, a crapper ride, you can actually ask to be put on an upper chamber and they'll just they'll sort you out and send you one to the upper levels. We always do that because we always like to be the, the higher up in the cinema. It gives more of a, a, a fear of heights experience, doesn't it? Ooh. I'm just going to say, it looks like we're going to upper chamber anyway, but she stopped everyone. Not the lower now. Oh, she sent us to the upper chamber anyway. You've got to remove your rain jacket. We didn't really take notice of how long it's been doing. It's been about 40 minutes. Uh, longer than 35. Soon, you're going to have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi Rite of Passage. Riding on the back of a banshee by being genetically matched and linked to an avatar. Yes, got him. Now, let's find you your avatar matches. You're about to experience a ceremony that's very special to the Navi. And supervise your children. Once the link takes place, you will be connected to your avatar and sitting on the back of an Ikron. This is my Ikron. Straight. Very flattering picture. Oh. Oh. The restraints have just grabbed my legs and pushed them in. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, I can feel it breathing between my legs. Can you?
amazing, that's it's stunning. So one thing, even though I've done this ride loads of times, there's one thing that I've only just noticed is the fact that it's a paradox. I mean, the whole of the Avatar world is because you've got floating mountains, but when you start at the top level, the entire ride takes you down and down and down. And you're literally constantly coming down, but right at the top, you start off and there's a sea with a big horizon. And then you go down a cliff, and then there's another sea at a lower level. God, in real, in high. real time, that couldn't exist. <laughs> but it's still an amazing ride. Is it could be floating mountains. Well, that is true. Like I said, it's a paradox. But well, you can't have a, 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 a sea with a horizon, it's, and then you go down a level, and then there's another sea with another horizon. It's one of those rides that sometimes it really gets me. Sometimes I'm going down. Yeah, that ride. This time, that oh, was stunning. Are you going to cry? No. It's raining again. It's just like that time when we did. Uh, Navi back in, uh, not Navi, Flight of Passage back in 2019 and then went to Nemo. Bye. This video is sponsored by Surfshark. So, hope you are enjoying our Florida videos. It's just a brief pause before we get back to that. We want to tell you guys about Surfshark, um, the amazing app that we're using while we're traveling. Uh, Surfshark is a VPN product, so for those that don't know what a VPN is, it's uh, effectively a virtual tunnel between your device, whether that be your mobile, your laptop, your Fire Stick, um, your PlayStation, and it allows you to create a private tunnel between you and an endpoint, which means that any information you send over that tunnel, like banking information or passwords, is completely private and people who are eavesdropping, let's say you're sat in a, a cafe or something like that on a public Wi-Fi, people can't see what you're saying or what you're doing over that internet connection. Surfshark allows you to choose a country to be virtually present in. So for instance, when we went to the south of France the other month, um, I used VPN to make my laptop think I was in England, uh, as some searches were coming up in French and I wanted it all to be in English. And equally so, we've just actually purchased our annual passes for Disneyland Paris. Now, if you're sat in the UK and you try to purchase them, it doesn't allow you to do it online. However, by connecting our VPN to France and then going to the Disneyland Paris France website, you can buy your annual pass online and it loads it directly into your Disney account, which is what we've done. It has other uses as well to get around things like price discrimination. So there's such a thing that if you are browsing from the UK to an American um, airline uh, flight, flight website, you're gonna get prices based on the country that you're browsing from. But to get domestic prices, you would just simply change the country to the USA, web browse, and then you'd get the price that someone who was local to that country would pay. And believe it or not, there's quite a big price difference between the two different prices for the same flight. One of the best things for us, as you may have seen before, is we like to use it to get different countries uh, for regions on our Netflix and other TV streaming apps. Uh, so if we want to get some content that isn't available in the UK, we just use the VPN to switch to a different country and we can get that to countries um, so Surfshark works on multiple devices such as a um, Amazon Fire Stick which is what we use it on. We, uh, they've got an app on the Fire Stick, we open it up, choose our country which we want to be virtually present in and then just open up our TV streaming app and stream it from that particular country. It's an unlimited number of devices per account as well so you can install it on all your TVs, laptops, consoles, everything you want all under one account. There's other products in the Surfshark suite if you want to keep all your um, apps consistent such as antivirus which we use on our laptops. There's a 30 day money back guarantee with Surfshark so it is risk free. And we have an exclusive deal for you using our code LodgeGuys and you'll get an extra three months free. Now back to the video. Ooh what's this? A Pandora Navi sketchbook. Let's have a look. Mm. I just outside is Satuli Canteen, I think it's called, so we're gonna go in here. That wrong. Nick fancies some um, noodles. I wanna make the dish, we've never done that, so we're gonna go and have a look at that. Look at that ocean moon bowl, that, that looks, looks nice. Like fruit cup, fruit loops. Right, so we're gonna go for the chicken. We're gonna get red and sweet potato. Oh no, we're not, we're getting noodles. And we're gonna get a, a tangy vinaigrette, so a charred green onion vinaigrette. And then um, you got some, oh, you get the boba balls included, oh. the vegetable slaw, and the sauce. Oh, that's all right. So we're not going for the kids meal today. You can get kids meal, but we want to do this um, creating your own satuli bowl. So that's it. Starts at $12.99 for tofu, goes up to $17.99 for some chicken. And then there's the drinks that you can get here as well. And there's the kids meals. They look quite good, the kids meals, I've got to be fair. 
Right, that is our noodle dish. So we've got chicken, although we wish we'd got the steak, beef. We saw some to get it and it looked yeah. amazing. It's quite early in the day, so we, we're not super hungry, so we said we'd share it. Yeah, but although you said you were starving not long since. I could have those cheeseburger pods as well. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, we almost got the cheeseburger pods, almost, but we didn't. Oh, did you like hot sauce? Uh, yeah, I do. So we're just gonna share this. Where's my knife? Fork. I wanna try some. Just wanna try the chicken, see what it's like. So if you like beef and steak, definitely go for that option because it looks really good. Ooh. Mm. Oh, the sauce is nice on it, isn't it? All I think that's seasoning. what you just tried is the sauce that I've added rather than the no, vinaigrette. You can taste the seasoning on the chicken. That's mm. really good. You can get it's coleslaw like a with it. Chicken. Um, Let me try these noodles. I'm gonna try this. It's like a pesto sauce. No. Mm, no, I don't know what that is. It's green onion vinaigrette. Right, let me try these once I'm stopping from falling off my fork. So your options are like rice or beans, uh, tofu, chicken, steak, mm. things like that. We need more noodles at home. That's yeah. delicious. Right, we've met up with these guys and they've just treated us to a cheeseburger pod. We sneaked just... off and got it. So apparently these taste like a McDonald's cheeseburger. But Vicky says it does. Oh, yeah, that like it. So we'll yeah. see if it does. It's really weird. Let me try this little bit of meat. Hold on. Screw that. Get the freaking thing in your gob. Mm. Yeah, it does because it's got the gherkins. It's got gherkins in the yeah, meat. It does. Mm. It does. Just needs that little good. bit of ketchup. Well, yeah. let's try that with the ketchup. We always have ketchup with our cheeseburgers. It's exactly like a McDonald's with the ketchup. Isn't it? It's weird. I was quite impressed with that um, noodle thing and the um, cheeseburger thing. Why are you doing this? You look like Mother Teresa. Me big ears. Like that. <laughs> Bless thee, my child. <laughs> um, we're going to go on the rapid scene as we've all got us, um, us things on anyway. What a tit. Oh, Lee, you look amazing. Right, as I was saying, we're heading to the uh, rapids. Uh, Why not? We're, we're all wet, wet anyway, so um, we've all got ponchos on, so uh, Can't should wait. be nice. Right, as Lee said, we're going to do Cat Liver. Yeah, that as well. Uh, 10 minute wait. So, this is probably going to be a walk on. We've never been on this ride and got anything more than like a light sprinkle. So, um, we'll find out what happens. 10 minute wait time, chat, all of that. Never ever got wet on this ride. The more you dress up, the more that's good. Just keep it, keep it covered. The more you, more you cover up, the less chance you're getting wet. I think, and it's actually raining now as well. I'm a little, uh, ready. Ready? 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 You're not putting your hood up. Oh, I will. We're not going there yet. Well, let me get ready for the rapids. There. That's a good look, man. Ready? Right. Here we go. Up the uh, thing. Oh, I'm going to have to stop on this one show, wait a minute. There we go. I'm alright. I like it. Oh, 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 No. no, on the bad at all. We've done that so many times, we've never got wet. <laughs> and That's a spray. Done. Yeah. Over and done with. Hello. Such, such a tame ride, not even a drop of water. <laughs> Right, we're still dry off that ride. It was a bit tame that, wasn't it? Very tame. Didn't get that wet. We need to make it more um, uh, wet. Right, we're going to the Maharaja, Maharaja Jungle Trek. See what we see. Big lizard there, just chilling out in the sun. Yeah. Will we see some tigers? Sleep. Did you go to Dino Land? Yeah. Did you go to Dino Land where That's the closest we've ever been to them in here. Yeah. Imagine when they're, when they're sleeping on the window, isn't it? It's deep sleep there, isn't it? That is warm. Some of those things there. Bull. Bull. Are they, but they're not bulls, are they? No, I'm saying that you're talking bull. What are they? Um, those things. Buffalo, buffalo or something. Things. They're funny looking ducks. 
<laughs> on zebra ducks? Disney ducks. Lots of birds here. Yeah. All different colours. Another Pink week, ones we'll all with ducks. Back at the lodge. Yeah, but it won't be that colour. Yeah, so where you guys are from, you'll see like I reckon it's from Peacock. I wonder if he wants that for his house. Ooh, sound scratch. I wonder if he wants that for his house, I was trying to eat it. Victoria crowned pigeon fish. Mm -hmm. Is it a pigeon? Pigeon? pigeon. pigeon. Freaking hell. It's a big bloody pigeon. I mean, I mean we are big ones on our roof, but crack it for that. A Victoria crowned pigeon. That's a big bird. Looks a bit like a peacock, but uh... Great Argus, yeah. And what's it called? A great, a great Argus. Great Argus. Right, we're just packing this Joffrey stand and Nick's gonna get his pink donut. Wow, that's a big one. And you can also get the lion's latte um, here as well. No, Joffrey's pink donut. What? Why? We'll look at the size of that and then look at the size of Emma's. Definitely looks bigger this one, yeah, doesn't it? got a huge one, Emma. And how's this drink? What do you got? Sour apple. Mm. Let me try it. It's very nice. You can get it spirited for like twice the price, mm. but it's nice. No, it's beautiful because it's like a, a proper iced slush puppet. Mm. Refreshing. I, I can't mix it up though, I've tried to mix it up. That's lovely. Nick's got major brain freeze, so I'm having the rest of it. It's very nice. Ever. It's the worst ever. Oh. I don't want any more now. Vicky's come back with a... Um, Yeti Sunday. A Yeti Sunday, which we had once. And she's such a good wife, she came back with a present for Emma. I've always yeah. wanted this water bottle. You got, attach it to your belt, but I know it's sad, but I love it. Yes, I've already tasted that as a present, yeah. Oh, it's still going on. Is it like a oh, whiskey? Yeah. whiskey. Right, we're gonna do the safari as it's only 10 minutes. I know we did it the other day, but we're gonna see if what, if what everybody days, always it? says is true that when it's raining, although it has kind of stopped, that the animals seem to come out more when it's raining on the uh, safari. Did it not rain the other day when we went on it as well? No, I think so. We haven't had the sun the other day. I think it was gonna rain one day or it had cooled down or It's just a 10 minute wait. Basically a walk on. There's absolutely, there's, they're actually waiting for people to get there. I love this time of year. It's, so, it's been so good. Uh, what day is it today? September... Uh, 1st of October. Oh yeah, it's 1st of October now. Yeah, so uh, we, you want it nice and quiet. I mean, the rain's probably made it a little bit more quiet. But look at that. And we're off. Tidal build birds. My god, they look like... Um, they're like kind of like those birds from a little bit more about that the, um, the Disney film. What's that Disney film? Is it Kim? Yeah, they, they looked a bit like that. Black rhino there, just in the distance. They just look the same as the white rhinos, but the white rhinos look cleaner. So there's something coming up on the left hand side here. I hope it doesn't move because it's literally like neck distance from the truck. Oh, it's there. Look, it's like a little deer. Wait a minute. Look at the deer there. Is it a deer? And then there's something what looks like a, a big... Well, I'm not sure what it is. It's like a peacock, but in bird fo in uh, animal form. Hippo pool here. You can just see a hippo that's kind of swimming. Oh, it's just head popped up. Hippos can open their mouths up to four feet wide. The Four foot inside mouth wide. It's almost as big as Lee's. Another one here. Just woo, how can I miss that? There we go. It's kind of just. It's coming up. Oh, oh, oh! There we go. Ooh. What is that smell? I think it's just had a dump. I think she just said you can smell the hippo before you can before you see them. And then we get just sudden wave of what maybe maybe dicky farted. Crocodile, eh? Crocodile. So once again, are those supposed to have like a tip? Nose, but when we saw these the other day, they were more flat headed. See, that doesn't look like a tipped nose to me, that looks more alligator. But apparently, a crocodile's jaw is like three times the pressure of an alligator's. So, a crocodile's um, bite can be 3,700 psi versus an alligator, which is 2,980 psi. So, that's almost like if a car tire, the pressure in a car tire is like 34, it's a thousand times more pressure than a car tire. That's, no wonder they can like chop your limbs off with one snap. Helps out with blood circulation, which is especially important for those Hartman's mountains. Zebras. The coyotes. I can't remember. Good. Some of the dogs. As a wild dog. Prairie dog at the moment. In the world. Got the female a little bit closer up here. She's more vibrant in color, but smaller in size. 
One of the mocues that that male elan behind her will do is dig his horns deep into bushes and shrubbery. As you can see, they are eating their long tongues to grab leaves from the trees. Eating the trees. Oh my god, draft tongues are actually purple. Loads of them. That's how often those guys are eating. That's the most drafts I've ever seen. 16 to 20 hours out of the day, which including traveling and socializing, only leaves for about 30 minutes of sleep. It's the rain, it's the rain, it's brought them out. Do I get in the rain? Giraffes also do a majority of the earth. So Some tusk masks there, but Nick just looked it up and see what was fake on this. So a lot of things on this, we've noticed when we've done it all the time, that there's, there's nothing seems to ever move or change. So the ostrich eggs are fake, the um, termite mounds that we just saw are fake, and the tusk marks in the uh, clay there are actually fake, just for the, just for the, for the show, for the show. Cooler body temperature up to 15 degrees during that. My ladies with long hair, you know how that feels when you like throw your hair up like, when it's all sweaty? Mm -hmm. But immediate gratification. <laughs> the black and the white rhino that we met today are the exact same color, just has to do with that name, which is the shape of their mouths. Lion, yeah. And as our friends to the left here are showing Still up, asleep. Our are the second time we've ever seen the mail. They spend anywhere from 16 to 20 hours a day resting. Wow. Get a phone Actually, you might recognize that handsome male lion there. The live action Lion King modeled Simba oh. after him. Hey. It's like we're meeting a celebrity because the cheetah girl was sworn up for you guys. Oh, they did laugh. That female shooter of that. I think it just a leaf fell out of a tree. But. Not all right, no, it's just one side just had a big dump. Looks dump. like we are holding for some ostriches in the it's road like just up ahead. It's like a, it's like Truck fire the head of us. All the ones off Travis Sniff. Oh, kind of inching towards us though, so <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a nice no, it's spot, gonna do just it. in case. It's going to add to it. It's actually no. going to add to it. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Multiple grey feathers. Males have black and white. We also know that we're dealing with some. There's some of those fake eggs. Nest of ostrich eggs. But it's nice always there one. every year we come. Ostriches will lay those eggs. Oh, these guys to mature. Ah, little goats. Apparently they provide um, people in mountains a source of dairy and meat. In a reusable water bottle. I've been paying what, four bucks. Yeah, it was a good time that. I don't know whether it was because the rain or not, but we saw definitely from the rain more giraffes than we've ever seen before all at once. She went a bit fast. Yeah, she did. That was the quickest safari we've ever had. Couldn't vlog a lot of it because we were literally like, going from one place to the next. And then they had um, the lion, which we've rarely seen. Oh, where are we going? This way. Yeah. I think we've only ever seen the, like, the male lion once. once. Um, so that was always good to see. And uh, it was just a good time that. Nick's amazed because we've seen something we've never seen before, even though it's just there at we've the beginning. Walked, we've walked pizza thousands, Fari. Thousands of times, we've never noticed this. Pepperoni pizza. I would get the pepperoni Chicken I'll parmesan sandwich. Caesar salad. Ooh, chicken parmesan. Yeah. Right, we're going to have a look in Ireland Mercantile. Emma is buying this. Vicky's just buying it for her. She, she uh, buys a uh, lounge flight each time she comes and she's gone for that one. Is that because she saw Minnie dressed like that? The Safari Minnie. No, Minnie wasn't there this morning. Oh, sure. No, just Mickey. Maybe she went out. Well, there you go. She's met her now and she's taking her home. Right, we're heading out. Spent a nice um, few hours in the uh, Animal Kingdom there. We're just going to head... Sweaty time. Yeah, I'm right. Sweaty because of this. Need to go and change. Um, we um, are going to just call up Walmart for a couple of bits and then uh, just going to chill for an hour and then we might be heading into Epcot to meet these guys again. Um, Nick didn't want to fan watch the fireworks, but I do. We've not watched any fireworks oh, yet. No, but Epcot fireworks is like a packet of bloody standard fireworks that you get on like Epcot night. fireworks. And uh, it any depends fireworks on the weather anyway. Any Magic Kingdom fireworks. That is a must. But yeah. Epcot, I can give it a miss anyway. Yeah, I like it. Depends on the fireworks anyway. And I really want to try one of those Mickey Nitro cake pop things, whatever the one that uh, stick me in so Emma got. Do you stick me in Rose and Crown with a drink? I'll watch him. It's starting raining again. Right, one nap, a t-shirt change, a um, shoe change, because they were absolutely sogging wet through. And an hour in the pool. And an hour in the pool, and we are heading back out. We're heading to Epcot. Um, Vicky and Emma have just got there as well. They went up for a chill as well. So their final night? Their final evening. They're going to stay for the... Um, Shite works. Fireworks. I don't know if we will or not. Um, we will see. It's not for another four hours or so. The problem with Epcot fireworks, there's, the mu there's no music. Moan, 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 moan. It's all it's done all afternoon. Um, so it's you, Nana. And a nap. Uh, so we'll see yeah, if we, get back. we stay for a while or not. Um, I quite like the Epcot fireworks. I like, quite like it when you're napping. Because um, you don't talk. So, um, well, I might have a snack or two. 
but we are planning on having a meal tonight. Um, we might try um, somewhere called Lazy Dogs, which one of our friends Susan um, recommended. It's a new restaurant yeah, as well. Yeah, so we might go there, we might not, we'll see what we feel like later. Um, it's fitting for you though. Mm, um, so it stopped raining. Oh, I can see a bit of blue sky out there. Where? Just there. Christ. Just there. The exit towards Disney World. I'm getting excited now in all this grey cloud. Um, it's going to be sunny tomorrow though. Yeah, it's going to be sunny tomorrow, fingers crossed. Um, but uh, it's not been the nicest of days today. I've put mile, my slip flops on and I might just leave dry. them on just in case it uh, starts raining again because I don't want soggy feet again. Well, for us, it's been two days raining, hasn't it? Yeah. A little bit more blue sky over Disney by the looks of it. Disney magic coming out. I know. Of space. You never know, we might see some sun. Hi, Mickey. Hi, Minnie. The sun has kind of come out just as we're heading into Epcot. How perfect. I'll take my poncho anyway. Monorail, monorail, and Epcot, monorail. Nick's fancies the pretzel bread pudding. With the guy in Bowman the other night and Neil said it's amazing and it looks amazing from the picture so I'm gonna get it with a beer. It's a lot harder than I thought. Oh my god, it's really hard. Oh, it looks pretzel bread pudding. Looks Look at the dodgy density of that. Right now. Well, That's your meal for tonight then. Cream sorted. Let's try this. Mmm. <laughs> Good. Oh no. A little dry on top. I don't know whether it's supposed to be. Well, it's definitely got similarities to the banana pudding that we had, but the banana pudding was softer. We've got our usual uh, bin top lid as well. What? As bin top. Look at the density. It's really crispy on the outside. I think it's just quite stale, that. And it's not fully warm either. Mm. No, so it's just like a bread. bread. It's not as, it's a dry, dry bread pudding. Yeah. Not special bad, but it's nice. It is nice. Must be somebody good tonight at the concert in the USA pavilion because there's a long queue. I wonder if it's Starship. Might be Boys to Men or somebody. We'll have a look as we go past. Just checked, it is Boys to Men. Nick said, who are they? <laughs> I think they were like around in the 1990s or early 2000s. Like Westlife, American versions of Westlife. A little bit. Nick's just going to get a drink from here from the American pavilion, but I'll... Uh, I'll uh, show you what it has. Italian hot beef sandwich. Oh, that looks awful. Too much sort of shellfish in there. Um, Chicalas or something? And freshly baked carrot cake. Via flight? Is there any like um, fruity ones in that? I don't know. I just said a beer flight and she gave me, well, it tells you here, so let's have a look. Oh, We've yeah. got a Rogue Dreamline, Dreamland American Lager. Goose Island Neon Beer Hug and a left-handed brewing saw tooth amber ale. Mm. So let's start with them. So let's have a look at that. Ooh, Rogue. Sure small. <laughs> no, that's about the same. Rogue Dreamland American Lager, Goose Island Beer. Oh, that's nice. And left hand brewing saw tooth amber ale. Strange names for them, isn't it? That's I reckon out of those, the left hand brewing would be the nicest. I think you've already had that one because it came out that way. So it was that one. Which is your favourite? That one. That's boring. Oh my goodness. We're in Morocco and we've got this bread. Mm. So we've got three dips. That looks like a pesto. That's coriander. Do you want Ooh. that? But actually, you like coriander now, instead. Well, I don't want to say I like it, but it's not as bad as it That's just a hummus. A nice hummus, actually. Oh, that's my favourite. It's kind of tangy herbs. In fact, I like off the bat, I'm going to put a bit more on real. That was five dollars. That is the best value of Epcot snack, I think, that they do. And it was quite filling as well. It was like, even though it was full of air, the bread, the dips, and there was enough bread for two people to share, and I feel semi-satisfied until the next move. Till the next move. Is it open? They'll be bored in this time tomorrow. Oh. Is that a reminder? No. Don't be horrible. Oh, yeah, it's working, it's not. Oh, no. That's a big steering wheel. Oh, it's just solid. You can't actually drive it. Oh, you can't drive it? It's all solid. Oh, it's just all fake. The wheel, I think it's a photo, isn't it? Right. Just having a little mooch around Morocco. 
slushy. Oh, a slushy uh, stand. Jasmine pomegranate yogurt drink. Olives and olives. Pomegranate vanilla and buttermilk it is. Right, Emma's getting some uh, poutine from the refreshment part near Canada. Not sure which one she's going for, but that looks really good. The braised beef one. I think she might be getting the traditional one, I'm not sure. Oh my goodness. Oh. I'm never going to eat it all, you have to help that. me. I'll try it, but I don't want all that. That is the biggest that was Epcot like snack I've, I've ever me, seen. Wow. Where's the, where's the boost on separate then? That beef, try it. Oh That's, my god. How much was that? That was 10. That's not bad at all, is it? That is beautiful beef. It's like tin meat that we have at home. Right, we're just going to do soaring, might as well passing because it's only a 25 minute wait. Oh, there's quite a lot of people going in. I need to do it again to take it all in because after the first time I was more overwhelmed because it was so new and the new smells and things. Yeah, for the California one. We've not stopped walking yet. It's much uh, better than the other day when we... Uh, we're going to walk straight to a concourse here. Uh, almost. Maybe 10 people in front of us. Just stopping here. Oh, it's so weird being on edge. just got on me enjoying it but I wouldn't choose to go there again well, I, we didn't really think about it did we? We no we were, we were talking and she just sent us onto A right at the back and there were only like six spaces on this on the back right as well I think whereas the others are ten now it looks it, it looks actually like when we came in um, I feel a bit queasy I've never done that on Soaring before but I feel a bit yeah, it was the first scene on the on the Golden Gate Bridge when it was literally like the top of the bridge was there the bottom was down here and it was right stretched you're not kidding it's pitch black it's jet black so Emma's forgot, should I say, Vicky's forgot their uh, travel card, so Emma's gone back to the hotel to get it. So you're in trouble, aren't you? Always in trouble. Spaceship Earth as our last thing to do in Epcot today as it's only a five minute wait time. Distracted by crowds and things like that. I've never seen this before. Transmitting. Just 
manipulator, right joystick, orange. So you've got a mecha body, basically. There we go, you've done it with one minute to spare. Well done. Right, let's try some coke. Oh, this one. Oh, the floor's so sticky from everybody's uh, using. Ugh. What's that one? Well, it's banana, but it tastes a bubblegum to me. Mm. That's really nice, that one. Bon bon anglaise. Oh, actually, that. I'll just have a go after that. I'm going to come in because you're thirsty. I know. Country Club, what's that taste like? It's tropical. It's like a tropical drink. It's rocking. Is that the um, Madagascar? That's mm. nice. Them two are nice. And then Beverly, which everybody moans about. Hey, just on that. I don't think it's bad. I think it tastes a tonic water to me. Oh, this one seems to be horrible. This one's Bitter, but nice. It's like tonic. What's that one? Beaver. I think it's bad. I just said I want to try some merch. Well, you went straight to the Crocs. Craps, sorry. You said you might want to buy some merch, though, though. That's not merch. Let's have a look. These are plastic. Them's plastic shoes. Bored. Are you guys going to have room in your cases with all the stuff you bought? Yeah, we bought an extra suitcase. We've already packed it full of merch. You're going to have to pay for the actual suitcase as well? Yeah. How much will that cost you? 60 something quid. Yeah. Have you factored that in? Oh, yeah. yeah of course we have. Look at him giving ideas. It's weird sizes. These are 12. Oh, we don't get them then. Is that, is that Super Pursuit mode? They're massive. I like Sports it. mode, I mean. I like, the, I like that mode. What mode do you call that? That's sport. Sports mode. I'm a sport mode that type of chip. That would match the lodge. It would, actually. But, um... Watch the tree would fall over. Yeah, wouldn't match the Christmas tree. Emma is buying another lounge fly. I mean, look this how one. cool that is. A Marvel one. We've, it's got loads of Disney things, Disney characters, so Mini, Ma Mini, Mini Captain Marvel, Iron, Iron Man, Mickey. Mickey. Are you going to buy some Crocs, Lee? No, thank you, I don't want any. Good. I want to have Disney ones, not my cup of tea. Should. Normal ones. If I ever get any Crocs, that would be normal ones from the UK. They might be good for van life. Right, this is our spot for the fireworks. Nice view over the lake. We've got about 10 minutes to wait. Ooh. The legs are giving way. works ended that the Epcot Power Show never really gives you goosebumps because it doesn't really have that kind of a feel and then right at the end the uh, whole new world came on and that massive crescendo of fireworks and um, we both all cry. I didn't want to cry but I got goosebumps we all stood there and they were like yes and then it that big clap at the end that was amazing doing this in Epcot. I know this isn't the greatest uh, shot, but I just want to get all that behind us. There we go. The Epcot ball as we're walking out. And um, now we're deciding where we're going to eat. Um, we're going to try a new place called Lazy Dog, but these guys drove to Disney Springs and maybe Blaze Pizza. So we're like, oh, Ooh. is that where we're going then? Well, look at that behind us. Plans. So um, 
pepperoni and pineapple and pesto. Three pe three peas. And I want to go to Splitsville and get the Dole Whip pineapple slushy. Milky, milkshakey thing. I can't remember what it was, I just know it looked nice. Right, here we are. Half past nine getting into Disney Springs and the balloon's up and there's a full-ish moon out. And uh, we're going to go to surface parking. Right, we've come to Splitsville. I've got a dull pineapple smoothie for six dollars. Nick has got the alcoholic version. With a Tito. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, Vicky's got a Big Davey Wavy or something. Big Dave Wave. And um, Emma's been boring and got a Diet Coke. Okay, this is now official. That is the best drink in Disney. It's got a, it's a, a pineapple Dole Whip. It's got a shot of Tito in it, and you can't even taste it. I'm gonna get a double next time. Right, after that drink, which was very nice, we are here at Blaze Pizza um, for uh, a, a, a Blaze Pizza. Right, I'm having half a pizza and a salad. That's my salad, fresh berries. And then uh, just gotta choose all my toppings. and salad and Nick's pepperoni pineapple and pesto has arrived. The three peas has finally arrived. That's revitalized or re-energized my love of glaze. So the pizza was perfect. It wasn't burnt like it was in May and it was just like it was on the very first day we tried glaze. It's actually changed a little bit inside. They've got electronic boards and you sit at the table now with your tag and you don't wait at the counter like you used to do. So when I asked for the pesto, she had to go back and put it on the pizza, but it was just as good as, as ever. In fact, it was amazing. Mine was very good as well. I liked that salad, fresh berry salad, and half a pizza, just right for me. Did you remind you of Pizza Express at home? Like half salad, half thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's time for these guys to finally go and us to say goodbye. Yeah, they're going home tomorrow. They fly home tomorrow. So we will see them in Bridlington at some point. Yeah. She will. And in Florida next year. In 12, 13 days, something yeah. like that. We'll text you lots of photos, don't worry. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you will. We're going to try Deluxe Burger, we're going to try Lazy Dog, <laughs> we're going to try all sorts of stuff. All the yeah. stuff that we've not done while with these have been We're going to buy some crops as well, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to go <laughs> merch shopping, might buy a couple of Marvel bags. Ah, yeah. So. <laughs> have you just seen one of those like that? Not happening. Neither does Crocs. <laughs> right, that's it, they've gone. We've said for our the, goodbyes. For the second time. We did say goodbye the other day because we didn't think we'd see him again, but um, we were texting and we kind of missed each other, didn't we? So we ended up yeah. doing Epcot yeah. and... Uh, where are we going here? Surface parking. Oh yeah, we did Epcot with them and Animal Kingdom. So uh, I'm glad we've got Blaze struck off his list because that's been on our must-do list for, since, we, since we arrived. Uh, we have lots more other sort of things that we want to try while we're still here. And we've got another... 11 days ish. 10 days, 11 days, 10 days actually. Um, and then we're going home as well. And then it's back to the van build. Um, we've got the kitchen worked up to fit, we've got the shower door to fit, and then we can truly test to see whether we can crap on that toilet or not. Right, we're just walking past the salt and straw, and since we went past the other day, they've actually changed the flavours. So I'm hoping to get that caramel one, but it's all a whole new set of flavours now. Sounds good. Wow. Salted, but not scotch, uh, salted but scotch ice cream. Homemade Kit Kats, Reese's Snickers and Health Bath. Oh, I think I'll go for that one. Coconut Cream Sherbet, Marion Berry Sherbet and Vegan. Uh, oh, and the Spiced Pumpkin Ice Cream with Pumpkin Bread Whipped Cream and Cheese Frosting. Come on, I'm tired. Oh. It's the next day and we're going to finish the vlog because we didn't finish it last night. So, thank you for watching our day at Epcot Animal Kingdom. We hope you enjoyed it. Um, we're just on our way to Magic Kingdom. But that'll be in the next vlog. Are you having some more food? Get a little flat, girl. Thanks for watching today, guys. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below. Check us out on the next vlog where we're doing a little bit of Magic Kingdom. Goodbye. Bye.